Coming up in today's video, possibly the best banana cocktail you are ever gonna have. Now, I don't know about you, but when anyone says banana cocktails to me, my automatic trigger is rum. But the flip side to that is, whenever you kind of think of banana cocktails, I don't know about you, but my head also goes creamy. Boys and girls, I'm here to tell you different. Banana cocktails don't have to involve cream. Now look, I ain't gonna lie to you, of course. You could get a banana, you could stick it in your Nutribullet, whatever you've got at home, your little mini blender, you could recreate cocktails like this. I just want fat free, easy, quick, simple stuff. That's what I'm about. So this is why I buy into products like this, ODK's uh, Banana Pure. These are long life, they're shelf stable, even once opened. Right then, so ingredients for this cocktail. Uh, you're going for your workhorse white rum. Uh, for me, it's Kubai. Amazing, amazing workhorse white rum. It's really, really good. So I'm going Kubai for this. Uh, ginger liqueur, JD Taylor's uh, Velvet Falernum, so you're going for that. ODK banana, banana puree. It's a kind of fruity mix, but puree-ish kind of thing. Um, Drink stuff is your go-to people for those in the UK. Got some lo um, some lime juice down there and some chocolate bitters. That's what we kind of want there. So we've kind of got a chocolate banana. Oh, it's good. Right, uh, let's dive in. Cocktail shaker there at the ready. So we're going for our first time. Let's give you a close up of that. Uh, Ron Kubai, your, your workhorse white rum, decent white rum. We're going for a 60 mil double bubble. These little bottles have little pourers. Don't know if you can see that down a close up there. You've got little pourers built in. Genius, genius. Right, 60 mil double bubble of your white rum there. Uh, let's go for your ginger liqueur next. So 15 mil of ginger liqueur from Giffard. We're going 15 mil of um, JD Taylor's Velvet Falernum, pretty much the go-to uh, Falernum on the market. The, well, it's the young, there's, there's a couple, but this is, you know, the other one I've got behind my bar up in that corner is um, more gingery, more spicier. That is your workhorse for learning. It's a cracking for learning. Right, uh, this stuff, this puree, fruity mix, whatever you want to call it from uh, ODK, phenomenal drink stuff. Go and sort yourselves out and drink stuff in the UK. It's the best place to get this from. Right, look at this. It's kind of a syrup, but kind of like a, a thicker fruity mix if you like. We're just going for 20 mil. I found 20 mil is about the perfect sort of ratio volume for these kind of things. So. 20 mil of that, look at that, luscious, lovely, jubbly. Right, and then we're just going for 15 mil of freshly squeezed lime juice, so one five of lime juice in there. I tell you what, the aromas, <laughs> they're good. Right, and then just to finish off, um, I haven't tasted them yet, but there's, oh, come on, there's obviously another brand, there's uh, Angostura, have got their chocolate, their cacao, Chocolate, C cacao, that's what the brand is. Cacao bitters, but you know, my go-tos are Miss Betters bitters. I've had them now for a good two years, probably. I, I swear by these, these are good. But I haven't I haven't tasted Angostura yet, so I don't know. About third, maybe just a bit less. About, yeah, there we go. About a third of a pipette of chocolate bitters. Um, just to taste, that's all you kind of want in there. Just kind of see, but chocolate, but not chocolate. No, your pancakes, Christmas, uh, wait, I was going to say Christmas Day, not Christmas Day, what's it called? Pancake Day, Shove Tuesday, that's the word I'm looking for. Pancake Day, you know chocolate banana, it's good, isn't it? You always, don't don't lie, I know you get your Nutella out and your bananas on your pancakes, I know you do, so chocolate and banana, we're, we're going to work. Anyway, uh, we've got plenty of ice in a cocktail shaker, good hard fast shake. Proper hard fast shake, look, you need, you need your cocktail shaker, you need it kind of, Frosty. I don't know whether that will come up on a close-up. You need it frosty like that. Proper hard, fast power shake. That's all. That'll just pop out. Right. Here's one I prepared earlier. I won't lie. My crushed ice has been out for about 15, 20 minutes. So it's a little bit wet, my crushed ice. But that shouldn't matter too much. Uh, don't need to double strain. I'm just going to single strain. It's, it's kind of a rocks glass. This, this is actually like a 12-ounce glass. Just slightly over half a pint. Uh, but should fill it up quite nicely to the top. You could have, I've got a little bit left in there, but I, lo I love the glass for this. That's all. I just lo I lo I love the glass. So 
The perfect glass for me would be about a, a 14 or 16 ounce tankard. That's why I've got, I've got, I quite like these, I'll be honest. But it's a little bit small, but I love, it's the perfect for this. So we're going garnish wise, just a couple of sprigs of mint we're just going to pop in there. And then I have, because because I'm like all oh, Master Chef, you know, not Master Chef, what's, yeah, it is, no. What's, here's one I prepared earlier. I don't know what that is, but I've got some like, like banana kind of, I don't, you only need two, but maybe three on top. I don't know. We'll make that look pretty for the old thumbnail. But that, boys and girls, is that. 